how do I choose which bearing to use? So bearings are useful with um, handling a rotating device, either a wheel or a gear or a, a shaft. Many of those items use bearings. They use bushings also, but today we're gonna to talk about bearings. First of all, your bearing is defined by the bore. These are half inch round bore bearings. This is a 3 8 bore bearing, it's slightly smaller. And this is a hex bearing. It's used to help a hex shaft rotate. You can see that. The, the round bore bearing goes on a round part of the shaft. The end has a 3 8 portion so I can spin the shaft on a round board bearing. This bearing has a flange located on the bottom of this setup. You can see the flange here, and what the flange does is it locates the bearing in a hole. You can have a through hole, and you push the bearing into the hole, and it stops on the flange. So that locates the depth of how far you're putting the bearing into the hole. If you had a hole with a bottom on it, you wouldn't need a flange, so you would just push the bearing all the way into the hole until it bottoms out on the bottom of your hole. Usually, non-flange bearings are cheaper than flange bearings, so if you have the ability to design in the bottom of a hole, you're gonna save some money by having a non-flange bearing. The basic structure of the bearing is seen within this open bearing here. It has an outer race and an inner race. Those are those two rings. The middle of the bearing has balls and it has a cage surrounding the balls. That's what keeps the balls in place. As the inner race moves or if the inner race stays still, the outer race moves, you can see the balls move with that moving portion of the bearing. Rarely would I recommend using an open bearing um, as opposed to the, shield, the shielded or the sealed bearing. The benefit of an open bearing is it's, it's geometrically thinner, so it saves you some space but you can really only use these in clean situations where there's not any debris. You really need a seal or a shield to keep debris out of the inside of your bearing. There's two distinct differences between a sealed bearing and a shield bearing. A shield bearing can handle higher RPMs as the bearings get bigger. A sealed bearing can handle a little bit more misalignment from an axial shaft. Like if you have a gearbox with two or maybe even three bearings in it, a sealed bearing is gonna handle misalignment or binding better than a shielded bearing. And that's how you can choose what bearing to use. 